Hey there, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark, and today we are going to go over how to take a short patch in NNXT and turn it into a sustained patch. So I have this right here. So pretty short patch, but if I want to make that into a pad, then it's just not quite long enough. So it's not hard. I got my NNXT. Here it is where I've dropped my sample in, and I'm going to go to edit sample. And then I'm going to hit the loop mode button right here. And then see it created these little LNR loop points and left and right. And then I'm going to select my loop point. Do I want my loop to loop? Do I want my, my new, new pad to go on the high point here? Do I want it to be on the quieter point so that it just has a long, as long a tail as it needs to? Uh, whatever it is you're looking for, then that's what you're, that's where you're going to select it. And Sometimes you get lucky and uh, you can just pick a point. But other times you end up with clicks in your loop. And if you end up with clicks in your loop, you can use this crossfade loop button right here. And the crossfade loop button will usually take care of all your clicks. Sometimes they're still there even after you crossfade it. But, um, but I think we did it. Yeah, it sounds like it's pad worthy now to me, so I'm gonna hit save. And then I usually like to throw a little bit of release on there after I have looped it. And so just, you know, this is for whatever fits your, your particular tune. Yeah, so if I was making a pad, then... And you can hear those loop points. Um, so keep in mind that if you're only working with a single sample, like this one right here, then it's important that you, you, you're really not gonna have a whole lot of range uh, for one sample, because when you get into the higher points, your loop point gets shorter. Depending, again, depending on the sample, depending on what you're looping, uh, it, can be, it can be bad when you get to, loop, to the high points. So it's very obviously looping quickly there. So just be aware of that particular issue. Um, and so when you're, you know, typically if you only have one sample, usually you got a small range to deal with, uh, typically about a fifth up and down, sometimes even less depending on the loop. So you got to play with it to taste, um, you know, play with your sustain, play with your release uh, and, and get that exactly where you want it to be. Um, I hope that that makes sense. I hope that that, that helps you. Um, so like and subscribe, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, I'll try to address them or revisit this if I need to. Thanks for watching. Cheers.